Welcome everyone, thanks for turning in to my very first English flashlight review. Today I'm going to present you the new Phoenix UC52 rechargeable smart flashlight. It's a flashlight which has an OLED display. This is something pretty new to flashlights. It's a really cool feature which I will be explaining to you later in this video. The packaging from Phoenix is always pretty nice. It has a decent feeling. It uh, looks quite nice. There's always a, lo a lot of technical information already printed onto the packaging. I will later explain all the technical details about the flashlight and I will also post them under this video so that you can read them uh, whenever you would like to. Here at the side there are some pretty nice details of the flashlight. Uh, I think we will uh, take a look what's inside of this little box. So here's the flashlight. We have a nice decent holster that keeps the flashlight in place. There's a velcro strap but also a strap where you could just pull your belt through. It's pretty nice, it's good quality, has a nice feel. And we got a little bag with some extras like the micro USB cable. I kind of think it's a bit sad that uh, Phoenix still doesn't use this USB-C type uh, rechargeable flashlights but this will come in the near future I guess. And then we have a nice lanyard, quite sturdy. So this one is for heavy duty use. Little flyer with publicity for other Phoenix flashlights. The warranty card. And then the manual in several languages, also English. Well, I put all the stuff away so that we can have a closer look at the flashlight itself. It has a decent feel. Uh, build quality from Phoenix is always uh, pretty high. Unfortunately, a lot, uh, I got a little scratch here in my anodizing, but that's not that big of an issue. Uh, but I think uh, for a new flashlight, this shouldn't be the case. Here you can see the micro USB charging port. It has a nice cover that fits in perfectly, but you can open it without any struggle, so that's pretty nice. We have a stainless steel bezel, that's always pretty nice as this one is more resistant than the aluminium so that you can put it down like this without scratching the anodizing. We have a orange peel reflector and the LED type is a Cree XHP70. Uh, unfortunately it's not the newest generation uh, 70.2 but this one also performs very nice unfortunately Phoenix does not offer this light in neutral white color I always prefer neutral white LEDs but uh, this one is a nice cool one with no blue tint or whatever so it's still a really nice light color as we know from other Phoenix flashlights, they always use uh, glass lenses with anti-reflective coating, as you can see from the violent uh, reflection here in the glass. And we can have some look at other technical details. The overall length of the flashlight is nearly 154 millimeters. The um, diameter of the head is 42 millimeters. And the thickness here of the battery body is uh, 26 millimeters. There are two 18650 uh, batteries installed in this flashlight with uh, a total of 3500 milliamps. And uh, the light weighs, including the battery pack, uh, 280 grams. The maximum beam distance is 253 meters and the uh, maximum light intensity is uh, 16,000 candelas. It's waterproof, 
uh, to the standard of EP68 and, and it's impact resistant to drops from about one meter of height. Well, I would say we can take a closer look at um, operating instructions. We have two switches as you can see. This one is the master switch and this one is the auxiliary switch. Before uh, turning the light on we can uh, have a look at the battery indicator. This one is activated by one single click on the auxiliary switch. Then the battery indicator shows that we have 99% left. If we push this one for longer than uh, half a second, it will directly go to strobe. One short click will switch to SOS mode. To turn it off again, we have to hold that button down for about half a second. To switch the light on, you need to take the master switch, also 0.5 seconds, and it will turn on in level 1. And here we have the nice feature of the OLED display. You can see that is uh, in this mode it will uh, provide light for 81 hours and 40 minutes. So that's a pretty nice feature that you can see for how long the flashlight will provide light uh, in any of the modes. Then we have level 2 for 27 hours and 13 minutes. Quick info, first level is 15 lumens, uh, second level is 100 lumens. Third level is medium with 350 lumens and high is 1000 lumens. And then we have the turbo mode with 3100 lumens and there you can see that it's only for 42 minutes. But it has a overheat protection built in so the flashlight will uh, turn down the light by 15% after it reaches uh, 65 degrees Celsius. In my German uh, review I already tested it. I will uh, show you the light on the Ulbricht ball afterwards and there you can see that the light uh, will keep the full power for six minutes and then it's so hot that you can't even hold it in the hands without gloves anymore and uh, after six minutes the light intensity will drop to about 1700 lumens which it will then keep uh, for a very long time because in that mode it will not be overheating as fast as in turbo mode. Then we have a pretty nice function to uh, lock out the light. Therefore we have to push the two buttons for about three seconds. Then the light will flash and show a lock on the screen so that you know that the light is locked. To unlock the flashlight again you need to hold those two buttons down for three more, min uh, three more seconds and then it will unlock. As you can see now the light is on again. Well guys before showing you the USB charger here I wanted to see if by unscrewing those four screws in the back here if we can have a look at the battery pack but unfortunately this one uh, is glued in I guess so I will not try to use any force to remove it so I will just go ahead and screw the screws back in and then we will have a look at the charging port. So it's all screwed in again. In the manual they tell something about a charging current of about 2 uh, amps, that's pretty nice. I already checked it um, at the beginning, the light charges really with uh, 2 amps and at about 90% it will drop to uh, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 amps, as you can see here on my uh, USB detector. What I've been noticing, once it goes to 100%, um, the current uh, drops continuously uh, from 0 0.8 amps to uh, 0 0.3, and then after about 20 minutes it will drop to 0.0, .0 amps so the light still charges up a little bit even if the display shows 100%. That said I think we can head over to my Ulrich ball and see if the light really produces those 3100 lumens in turbo mode. And then we will come to a quick conclusion about the pros and cons of this flashlight. 
Uh, after it gets dark outside, I will take the flashlight uh, outdoors in the garden and I will show you what the uh, light power of this flashlight looks like in the outside. So here you can have a little look at my Ulrich ball. It's self-built from a guy at German Flashlight Forum. It's pretty accurate, so the measurements we uh, can see from it are always uh, pretty realistic. So here we have the eco mode with 15 lumens. Uh, I measure 11 lumens, so that's pretty accurate. Then the low mode with 100 lumen produces around 91 lumen, so that's also pretty accurate. Then the medium mode with 350 lumen produces exactly 350 lumens in my Ulbush ball. Then we have the high mode with 1000 lumen. This one has even a bit more than 1000 lumen. So now we will switch to turbo mode. I have my stopwatch. This one should perform 3100 lumens. I measure 3300 lumens. And uh, now I will see what the uh, time will tell. If you already watched my German video you can see that uh, I had slight, uh, slightly higher output that was due to a uh, battery in my Ulbush ball that was pretty low so therefore the measurements weren't that exactly. We'll have to change those infos beneath my video but uh, this time the Ulbush ball performs accurate uh, again. So now we are at exactly 4 minutes, the flashlight still has over 3000 lumens, it has a temperature at uh, about 50 degrees Celsius, so it's already pretty hot. Uh, in my previous test the light started uh, ramping down uh, at around 6 minutes with a temperature of uh, 65 degrees as they also uh, stated in the manual. After exactly 7 minutes the light drops down then to 1380 lumens. The light is so hot that you can barely touch it. And uh, now the light will perform uh, at this level for a very long time as it won't overheat in this uh, mode. So that was it for the output. I just want to show you how much battery remains in the battery pack after one turbo cycle. So there are 86% left in the battery. I want to show you quickly the holster. It, uh, it's pretty nice. The light fits in perfectly. It's held in place nicely. Now I'm going to charge up the battery and then we are going outside so I can show you what the light looks like in the field. I will compare it to the V-Torch P 26R compared to the True Knight TC20, which has an XHP 70.2 in neutral white color. Then I have the Ace Beam H15 also with an XHP 70.2 in cold white. And for the last one, I choose the Ruben T102 Prometheus with an uh, XHP 70.2 as well in cold white. So we are outside now, it's pretty dark. I got the Phoenix UC 52 now on the level 2. I'm gonna show you the different output levels. So this is the echo mode, level 2, level 3, level 4 and the turbo mode. The houses you see behind there are about 30 meters away. So I had a really nice light color. Some nice beam distance. I think it's pretty nice light. Then we have the feet torch. On the feet torch is a bit less bright. The beam profile of the Phoenix is uh, nicer in my eyes. Now we have the True Knight here in turbo mode. This is a really nice 
warm neutral white my eyes this is a little bit nicer than the phoenix and then we have the ace beam in turbo mode much less distance but it's a headlight and the reflector is much smaller so it's normal that this one doesn't uh, shine as far and then we have the Wuben oh, one of the neighbors came out and checked what is going on because I am playing with the lights here they are not used that I do outdoor reviews in my garden the Wuben has a bigger hotspot as you can see bigger reflector so more throwing distance I think overall the Phoenix has a really user-friendly beam profile that you can use in a lot of situations and it's really cool that you have this uh, OLED display which shows you that you have uh, 30 minutes of runtime left or so in my opinion Phoenix produced a nice flashlight here there are some points that I would change for example they need to include the moon mode as in every light uh, they never have a real moon load mode and um, uh, neutral white LED as I told many times before then I think they should uh, try to get a better user interface using those two switches that there is not one switch only for stroboscope and uh, as worse mode I think it would be cooler if you could uh, shift up and down with the two uh, buttons for the positive facts, uh, I must clearly say that the turbo mode lasts for 6 uh, minutes, that's really nice. Other flashlights start dimming down uh, after 30 seconds. The OLED display provides you with some really nice information that I also really like about the flashlight. It's uh, user-friendly and uh, you won't regret buying this flashlight. So I hope you enjoyed my first review in English. I would really like if you would give me a thumbs up or maybe subscribe to my channel because in the future we'll perform a lot more reviews in English. So stay tuned. Bye bye.